Francis Tobikalis, Fisheries Officer and Focal Point for Climate Smart Agriculture and Rural Enterprise Program, SAIP, is presently in Kariku, where this project is being rolled out. Speaking to GBN via Zoom, he highlighted what can lead to a depletion of the fish stock and how the implementation of a fish aggregating device or FAD can improve this. Um, some of the issues affecting us presently, uh, climate change issues are warming of the ocean. And uh, as we all are aware that once the ocean becomes warmer, the fish will go further out into colder waters. Other issues such as coral bleaching, um, where you find habitat destruction, the fish tends to move out from that area also and go further out. Um, we also have the unpredictable weather conditions. Um, and once this arises, you know, the, the risk of fishers going out increases. So this is something that, you know, we also have to bear in mind. FAD has been found to be an effective and viable method that can bring benefit to fisher folk, especially as it is a cost-effective measure. Some of the advantages of the deploying a FAD, you know, to reduce fuel consumption, they spend less time, you know, searching for fish because the FAD will be placed in a specific area and you go direct to that area. So you don't have to go search for fishing grounds and things like that. You know, beat, you catch beat around the FADs and you deploy your drop lines and you catch your fish, right? Your large tunas and maling and yes. It is also a safe method of fishing, you know, which we encourage because very um, easy in, in case someone, you know, encounter engine problems, they can tie the, the, the um, the boats to the fad, you know, while awaiting, you know, someone to come and rescue them. Yeah. Too many fads can lead to overfishing, Kali says. However, what is caught through its use is enough to supply the entire island. Fishing around fad carries certain restrictions, which he explained is permitted to holders of a license. The fads are private property owned, owned by, by um, like in, in, in Grenada, owned by the Grenville Fad Fisher Folk Organization. And um, in order to fish around the, the fad, you're entitled to have, to have um, a license. You know, you have to register and receive a license to fish around the, around the fad. You'll have to pay a registration fee of $20. And for every 50 pounds of fish you catch around the fad, the fad, you pay $5. So if you catch 100 pounds, you pay $10, you know. And this money is used for... Um, replacing fads, you know, maintaining fads, etc. A fish aggregating device or fad is a man-made device created to form a food chain used to attract ocean-going pelagic fish such as marlin, tuna, and dolphin. They usually consist of buoys or floats fastened to the ocean floor with concrete blocks. It is a climate smart project to tackle climate smart issues. A FAD can last up to 10 years once there is no entanglement with vessels. This device can be placed about 40 miles out at sea. Toby says they are presently awaiting the final approval of a draft legislation for FADs. Christina John, GBN News.